What are some stylish looks that can help me get the most out of my blazer? I've got six that we're gonna show you. All right guys, welcome back to Cladwell Style Tips for the Everyday Guy. I'm Eric. I'm Chris. And today we're talking about the blazer and we're gonna get right into the looks. Before we do, we just wanna talk really quickly about A, a blazer's a really versatile piece of your wardrobe. Yes, very versatile, more than ever before. You can dress it up, dress it down, wear it to work, wear it on the evening, you can wear it almost anywhere. It's great, so it's an awesome piece when you're trying to have kind of a minimal wardrobe or get a lot out of one piece of clothing. Yeah, it's a great one to have. Blazer's great, great way to go. And um, there's a few other things when you're thinking about a blazer in, in, in terms of fit, yes. in terms of color, and we'll probably do separate videos. We're not gonna go into those in this video. So today, we just wanna go over the six looks. Yeah. So can you walk us through? Yeah, so first we've got the classic dress shirt and tie with a blazer. So it's gonna be the most formal look uh, yeah, that's that's pretty standard. You could wear it with maybe an odd pair of trousers. So that just means a pair of pants, dress pants that don't necessarily match in color great. to the blazer. Yeah. Uh, but that's a great look, a different color there. For Classic. The pants. Classic, yep. Uh, secondly, something a little less dressy, still sort of a traditional look. It's nice because you get a little extra visual interest. And I'm talking about when you add a cardigan or a sweater underneath the blazer. And maybe you've still got a dress shirt and tie underneath that as well or just a little bit more of a casual shirt. So you get a lot of visual interest that way yes. by adding the extra layer. Uh, third, we've got an Oxford or a casual button-up shirt. So Oxford okay. are nice. We've talked about them, I think, in some previous videos. So they're just a little bit heavier material. But they still have the overall same effect as a dress shirt, mm -hmm. kind of, but a little bit more casual. Yes. You wouldn't necessarily wear that with a tie. So that's a good look. You can even wear something patterned yeah. on a casual button-up okay. shirt with a blazer. Okay, uh, That's, that's good. Uh, Last, uh, next, sorry, we've got polos. That's a good sporty look. A polo was, with a blazer. Yeah, it was something that was really popular in like the late 80s, early 90s. Oh, if you I remember, know it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I can count on you. <laughs> Pops. Uh, <laughs> so that's a really good look. It's definitely more sporty, so it's a little bit more casual. Um, I'd say here, keep the polo, not a looser uh, knit polo, but something that has a nice clean finish. Okay. So you still want it to be a dressier pull. Solid color. Solid is the best way to go again. Okay. I think there. Solid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And don't pop the collar. That's just just throwing that out there. Don't pop the collar. Don't. You're, pop you're the against collar. it. Why are you against that? Well, especially with a blazer. Okay. It just doesn't really make sense. All right. Uh, then we've got a t-shirt, a little bit more casual still. Um, this is something that has a distinctly kind of chic uh, feeling. Uh, very casual again, but I would go with a V-neck okay. t-shirt rather than a crew neck. It just looks a little bit better with the lapel on the blazer. Okay. Uh, so we're going all the way down from a dress shirt and tie, and you can even pull off a V-neck t-shirt with a blazer. Definitely. This, yeah. this, uh, this is my kind of... <laughs> I know, it's great. Talk okay. about versatile, right? That's great. Yeah, and then with that as well, I would look for a solid uh, V-neck t-shirt. Okay. You could do something that's striped for a little bit more casual still. Even or a graphic tee? You can maybe like do a graphic tee. It's a little bit, it's approaching the danger zone. Okay. So I'd uh, be and careful. And then there. even when you're getting this casual, can you, I've seen some guys roll up the sleeves. Is that a thing? Is yeah, that, bring the Miami Vice back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. It's definitely probably another danger zone thing. Where okay. You want to be pretty confident yeah. when you're pulling off that look, but you could do it. That's you something do I've it. done before. It's kind of fun. Okay. Um, and then lastly is the thing that everybody's doing, blazers with jeans. Yeah, uh, it's pretty well accepted now. You can wear it almost anywhere, so I'd recommend it. So there you have it. You have six different looks you can wear with a blazer. That's yeah. great. So just to recap here, you've got a dress shirt with tie, yep. uh, cardigans and sweaters, mm -hmm. Oxfords, mm -hmm. polos, mm -hmm. t-shirts. He can even wear it with jeans. That's right. What a great piece of clothing. Definitely. So guys, uh, feel free try these different looks out. You can get a lot out of a blazer. And uh, additionally, go to Cladwell.com. Get your personal roadmap to dress better, your free wardrobe. We just launched yeah. a brand new feature. It's exciting. It's really awesome. It's We call it the occasions view because what it does is you get your list of your entire wardrobe and it breaks it down into where you should wear particular clothing to which occasion. It's all automatic, it's all free, it's super smart, super cool. Go check it out. So guys, uh, thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.